great, beautiful, blissful rising to all of my king, queen, gods, and goddesses. It is your boy, Terrible Wanstar. I gotta break it down to all of my beautiful Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus, whatever is that in your chart. Welcome, salutations. Hey, if you came in for the first time, sit back for a minute and see what spirit has to give you because it's not me, it's spirit giving the downloads to this. I'm just a messenger, okay? Now, Virgo, the title of this one is Time to Expand Over the Fears Within Yourself Dealing with Love, okay? This is going to be very touchy. I know a lot of people are not going to watch this, but this is high vibrational messages coming in channel through spirit, okay? Again, the title of this one Time to expand over the fears within yourself when it comes to dealing with love. Now, Virgo, you may have went through a lot of cycles of your life dealing with some type of imbalance and unfairness when it comes to relationships and when it comes to finances where you become triggered when the work isn't coming back in return, okay, Virgo? And that make you feel like you are being held back. Some people like to call it uh, abandonment issues or Virgo, it may be from making a change to overcome and tackle over the fear within yourself, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Now, emotionally, this is a big aspect for you. So, Virgo, you may be fearful of somebody leaving you. You may be fearful of being alone. And I'm not talking about the Virgo independent hermit mode when we talk about, yeah, it's a difference when you choose to be in isolation than when you don't have nobody around in isolation, okay? Now, Virgo, it's time for you to tread very careful and do not let your emotional and stability or your emotional vulnerability leave you confused or pushed out when it comes to love. It may be a new interest of love or a new different aspect of the way how somebody trying to love you or you loving somebody else. However, it's that time for you to articulate how you truly feel or express to the person how you truly feel. I feel like some of you got a mask on, Virgo. And when I say a mask, even though you're suppressing normally what you are suppressing into your life, but right now it's time to you to expand. It's time for you to communicate without shutting down. Okay, Virgo? Now, not only that, when it comes to what makes you happy and joyful and the things that you want to grow into that full capability of that power of the Virgo, you got to strategize your mental and logical ways of thinking instead of staying with somebody who not looking at you as the same way. Different love languages as I feel. But your mental and logical ways, you need to stay inspired and look at the positive instead of the negative. You need to look at the different aspects of where you came from to where you are now. Rather than you becoming emotionally unstable, walking away from the doubts and the fears of things that trigger you instead of overcoming and healing through it. Okay, Virgo? And I can say this may be affecting some of you relation your relationship but then again, you got to look at both sides. Virgo, you got to look at that person's side. And let's be honest, let's look at the what let's look at the Virgo side of the matter too. Like Virgo, we got some little things that we may be trying to want to control in some situations that we got to let go. You got to let spirit run that race. It may be some things that you want in a love language, which is not the same that the person that you probably dealing with probably giving as well. Okay. So with that basically being said, let's go ahead and get a prayer and meditation. And then let's go to rock out and see what we got. Shout out to all my A1 Day 1. Shout out to my soul family, to God's soul family. Shout out to my moderators, though. They're my beautiful queens. And i like to say thank you, Shauna, and thank you, Raven, so much for what you do, okay? Now, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Spirit guys in the universe. I thank you right now for everybody coming to the channel. Lead us, guide us, give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations. Anybody wish any ill will mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, or emotionally, what we're going to do, we're going to return that energy to the universe in abundance of love, okay? Ashe, Ashe, Amen. Spirit want me to go with this one. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all going through, uh, so, um, throat chakra. You may be having a, a problem in communication. You may be choked up about things that you really want to express. But right now, we're going to work on freedom. This will help you in new cycles into your life. It will help you with integration and divine knowledge as well, okay? Now, Virgo, this helps you also at openness, balance, and metabolism. Direct breath and awareness to neck and throat area. All signs, cervical spine, release tension from the neck and jaw. Help balance your energy and metabolism when it comes to communication. Now, bring the left hand 
hand in front of the right, in front of the look. Bring the left hand in front of the heart. Palm facing in, thumb facing upward. Cross the back of the right hand behind the left palm until the thumbs meet. Interlace the thumbs and fan the rest of the fingers outward. Bring the mudra up to your throat. Relax down your shoulders and lengthen your spine. So what we're going to focus on on this one is I embrace the freedom of the let me say it correctly. I'm going fast. I embrace the freedom of openness of my pure expressions, okay? I embrace the freedom of openness of my pure expression. Now, what we're going to do, Virgo, <clears throat> we're going to breathe in positive energy, let out all the negative, and then we're going to get directly into this reading, okay? Let's go ahead and breathe in. Breathe in, Virgo. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, Virgo, we are letting it go back to the universe. Very good. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding, Virgo. Very good. Hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns, anything that's not suitable for you. We're letting it go back to the universe. One more time. Breathe in. I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expressions. I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression. Hold it. And release out, Virgo. I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression. I embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression. Ashe, Ashe, and I uh, mean, yeah, I had to bring back out my singing bowl for a minute. I miss my baby, okay? This is my baby, and uh, some of y'all know my A1 Day ones know it's barely cracked a little bit. That's why I haven't been using it, but I want to use it today. Ashe. I say I'm in. All right. Now, what we're going to do before we get into the reading, we will break out the Moonology deck, and I will not be with you too long, so I'm going to try to speed up the process to get all the information that you need in within, within a good half an hour. <laughs> so we're going to work on like that. Right now, Virgo, right now you are dealing with the planet of Uranus. This is the current energy, and this is number nine. So nine represents to me the ending of something for getting ready for something new to come in. Yes, I will be reading this logically. You know I'm a logical reader, and I cannot help it. So let's go ahead and get the pure definition of Uranus, okay? The public is wonderfully tolerant. It's forgive everything except genius oscar wilde the sudden boat of a surprise that causes chaos uranus the great awakener is here to wake you up virgo according to the myth or out according to the myth out of the chaos emerged two expressions of deities gaia mother earth and uranus father sky as the higher octave octave of Mercury, Uranus uh, rise to break the rules and smash established structures, okay? Now, uh, it's the planet not only of a genius, but also intuition which arises in sudden flashes just like lightning. Seemingly out of nowhere, Uranus is the revolutionary planet, opening up channels to a higher mind and bringing about the necessary changes which no longer can be resisted. The great humanitarian. Uranus is not really personal as the viewpoint is one is detached and unemotional. It symbolizes the one who does doesn't really need a partner, but is a friend and a soulmate to everyone. Those under the influence of Uranus are objective to enough to derive reliable insight into people motivations. Okay, now these types tend to be brainy and cool. Such detachment, detachment is needed when everything is about to be turned upside down. Another for a very important element of Uranus is to link the tech, uh, not technological advances of how the future is going to be to look and be. When the Uranus card comes up in this reading. There will be joints of surprises regarding the questions of focus, okay? Now, after all, it's the upstart planet, so they won't be any smooth ride here. You will anticipate matters to turn rather eccentric, if not shocking, and if not the way to be expected. Don't look upon these manifestations as wrong for you. Instead, go with it. See how your life become transformed in ways not exactly as you predicted, but better. You may feel excitable or nervous at present, especially when it comes to things that you're currently focusing on. It may seem everything is speeded up, even forced against your will, but it's not a good idea to resist. The best approach is to entertain the possibilities of what you're about to learn. You can anticipate this change to be a liberating force offering a new course or path. Since this planet
planet of technology. You may find yourself having a master, new tool, machine, computer, even jobs dealing the internet. So some of y'all may be readers, okay? Some of y'all may be doing something online. Since Uranus is the planet of air, storms, and lightning, anything that have to do with flight, messages carried via air, uh, electrical energy would be a major part of it. Phones, televisions, and all of that. It is important to point out the connection and alternative forms of sexuality or gender identity. In fact, uh, homosexuality and transgender people are referred to Uranians. Therefore, you may find yourself among people with alternative viewpoints, sexuality, and sometimes people of different class of background. All in all, this card means your life is about to change in big ways rather than small ones. Go with it and see what happens. Now, some of you may be trying to see something in the unknown. Something may be coming out to epiphany. Take heed to what's going on, okay? So, Virgo, you are very intellectual. Spirit woman to say this. You are a genius. Everything is coming out the way that it needs to be for you. And then again, Virgo, you may be revolutionary or you may be rebelling against anything that's not being on the intellectual standpoint of how you view things okay now let's go ahead and get to it let's see what we got when it comes to my beautiful 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 delicate respectable diligent wise sexy handsome whatever you want to say you know you know handsome beautiful yeah no yeah no time of Virgo so spirit guys ain't the universe what do we have for Virgo Sun Moon rising North Node and Venus Let's see. Oh, okay. Now I see why you've been strategic. All right, Virgo. I see your strategic, Miss Virgo. I see it. Give me one more for Virgo. All right, Virgo. What we got right now, Virgo, I feel like you being very intellectual when it comes, excuse me, my nose itching, somebody talking about me, uh, trying to uh, over the fears within yourself. So I feel like right now, Virgo, it may be some type of stability that you may be looking for in a direction that you want to face when it comes to you dealing with somebody and some type of actions dealing with conflicts and chaos, okay? Now, right now, I'm also sensing that not only you being wise, you are choosing to either walk away from a situation that is juggling you, Virgo, or you you may be deciding to finally overcome over the fears within yourself or something that you're building on dealing with a person that you had on a pedestal dealing with, with love. So I feel like for some of you right now, you are looking at different aspects of reasons of why you poured all this energy into a person and it's just not being reciprocated with the love that you want. Now, I also seeing the changes that you made has been conflicting within yourself, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. Yes, the... Uh, it's kind of like a catch-22, okay? And when I say it like this, it's like, Virgo, you either do the work spiritually going to give you or you're going to lose the blessing of your life. Now, while you're doing the work, you're really trying to be more in a hissy fit. For some of you trying to say, okay, if you're picking out my flaws, I'm going to pick out all your flaws. People don't know. FYI, if you're a cross-watcher, Virgos don't like you to talk about things that's dealing with them because we think we are perfectionists, which I got to tell y'all every time. There's no such thing as being perfect. But we try to know about ourselves because we can ident identify the details with everybody else. But Virgo, they true. We don't identify ourselves and we don't like it when people talk about us. But Virgo, this right here was a lesson from Spirit saying, hey, you're going to either get right what you are doing, what you've been working on, or... You're gonna, uh, or you're gonna lose a blessing, okay? So I feel like the person that you may be dealing with, I feel like this person is really like your twin flame, or they do a mirroring image of you. You know, uh, what I'm basically saying is, as well, like, then again, you gotta understand that this person is challenging you even though they may not be trying to because the way how you put them on a pedestal it's hard for you to express yourself with them because you always trying to find some type of resolution when you think they are trying to win by any means okay now the conflicts is dealing with change in, in the action that you probably want this person to take you are probably juggling because you've been going through a slow process and you've been putting in a lot of hard work and dedication when it comes to this person Virgo but spirit want me to tell you the changes for you to expand in action and do the things that's best for you okay now some of you may be having trust issues when it comes to this person some of you again have an abandonment issue so that probably mean if this person out here doing uh going out uh into the world and working and doing whatever they got to do you may be thinking it's a third party situation by over analyzing virgo this is going to be a very honest triggering reading for you because you got to expand over this fear that you that you see and, and i'm gonna be here with you okay now now not only that, Virgo, the situation is you got long-term stability right here. However, I feel like you may not be trusting 
uh, uh, partner that you be dealing with because they may be acting secretive or Virgo, you may be so over analytical, you're not uh, enjoying the moments when it comes to the cycle dealing with this person, okay? Now, I also feel like right now, even though it's long term, even though you, it's filled with abundance, Virgo, even though this you are spying on this person, trying to find out any information of what they doing behind your back, Virgo, and, and I'm glad I don't do this anymore. I am so glad because that is too much energy. Now, Virgo, it may be conflicting that you may be wanting happiness with this person, but I feel like by um, the abundance that both of you carry or the hard work that you got to put in to get to where you need to be for this new cycle to be for you, Virgo, it's a lot of incompatibility when it comes to you thinking uh, about being in the unseen or being uh, unsure about what a person is doing off of past experiences, dealing with the stress and turbulence and arguments, dealing with people from in the past. Now, Virgo, I feel like it may be very, very challenging for you to sacrifice and go towards your wish fulfillment. You've been living in a negative mindset. Spirit want me to tell you right now, you got the, uh, excuse me, you got the hangman basically being in reverse, which you need to identify the problems within yourself, clarified by the hermit card and, and the nine of cups. So by you identifying the problems within yourself, you are going in hermit mode to find out what is wishfully seeking for you in order to grow. Now, I feel like Virgo, you getting the clarity that you need, but you had to put something at stop or spirit put something at a halt because you may feel like y'all was, or you may be feeling like you were being misunderstood and that distracted you from, from you growing Virgo. But the clarity that you need to understand is deep down this depression and grief that you be having is it, distracting you from a major foundation. That's why everything had to stop. So communication is very, very important. Now, Virgo, this mistake, you may be feeling like your ego may got into the way and, and may be feeling distracted off of third party situations that's, that's have challenged you to deal with people today. Now, I feel like the loss, grief and depression that you may be feeling because somebody's not pouring the emotional energy into this foundation and you feeling more suppressed and it's <laughs> more suppressed and it is kind of hard for you to overcome over the fears within yourself Virgo all because right now you got to progress and see things are better everybody is not out to hurt you everybody's not out to bring you down Virgo what happened is in your life you've been so used to going through breakup after breakup betrayal after betrayal cheater after cheater disloyal friend like you've been dealing with a lot of low vibrational people and it puts you in a state of depression, loss, grief, despair, uh, where you feel down and out. And even though you progressing and you done done the work and things are progressing better, you just being quiet. You being quiet and very silent, Virgo. You're not giving nobody no information because you're hoping that one day you can get out of this change. You want to feel instead of see. And Virgo, right now, the boundaries that you have created, you created a boundary within your own self where you need to be more loving towards yourself and, and, and draw that line to say it's okay to get back out there again, Virgo. I'm not saying get back out there today, but I feel like with your silence, you're trying to receive some type of recognition dealing with your boundaries that you need to stay emotionally balanced within yourself about. Now, you got to hope and allow things to be the way that it is because it, uh, once you start thinking only about you, this is when this person really is going to give you the love that you desire and offer. Virgo, you're trying to be too strategic uh, by being a genius, okay? Spirit woman to tell you right now, you got to protect your heart from yourself. Because your mental capabilities of the negative mindset of the way of thinking will create somebody to walk away and you don't have the courage. You got to have the happiness deep within your soul, Virgo, and, ha and take that genuine leap of faith to make that necessary sacrifice that you need dealing with yourself to let this love blossom or flourish. Now, first time I can say this, Virgo, it's been a long time since I've done a reading. What I can say, a person that you are dealing with is not cheating or right now at the moment, okay? Now, I feel like they may be tired of you going inside your head from past type of tendencies that you've been working on. However, you don't like the people to keep pointing the finger at you, Virgo. But I'm also sensing right now, once you overcome over this fear, instead of not being determined and inspired to do so, because you feel like you're being controlled, Virgo, because you are controlling yourself. Spirit woman to tell you right now, it's time for you to let go of the old, Virgo, and go into the new. You've been hanging on to it, and it's time for a new cycle. Right now, Spirit heard your cry. The person that you're probably dealing with, they if they've been there this long with you, Virgo, 
They love you, okay? Even though everybody got their own messed up tendencies. And two, you got to stop looking for something and projecting things to happen. Because if you keep thinking a person cheating or you thinking a person to cheat and emotionally you feeling the way that you feel, you're going to manifest that person to find somebody, okay, Virgo? So let's be smart dealing with the spiritual warfare that you are dealing with as well. Now, Virgo, I feel like right now you are starting to follow your intuitions and be more determined to take that leap of faith. And it's challenging for you. But what it's doing is helping you elevate yourself and help you uh, open your crown chakra so your spirit guides and angels can communicate and channel with you so you can get the information that you need to overcome your emotions generally with generosity instead of being uptight and bitter all the time dealing with people that really want to come and give you happiness Virgo it's happiness on the board however with the four, four wands basically being in reverse you are letting that your attitude get in the way and it's creating a, a, a disruption into your uh, your energetic alignment let me say it correctly let me say it the right way now let's see what else that we have for Virgo make sure y'all hit that like button for me as well Spirit, guys, and the universe. What else do we have for Virgo? So I feel like right now, Virgo, spirit woman to tell you, right now you are that king of wands. You have been looking back. You have been putting in the work. You got the courage to do so with, with the situation. However, you are still filled with this family dynamic of trying to catch somebody in the wrong. And Virgo, you got to let that go. You are still thinking about the past, even though you may have not thought about it and said nothing, but past traumatic issues that you need to deal with when it comes to this heartache and betrayal from past. Okay, you got somebody around you that really care about you. And I'm going to find out more about them before we leave. Now, like, you got to look at it. You got this adversity that you are facing. Like, you're projecting your uh, your relationship not to go forward because you're not getting the way that you want it to be. And now, since you're always thinking this person doing a third-party situation, you need to release that past pain dealing with yourself of feeling like you're always going to get manipulated at the end of the day. You are what you attract, and this energy right here is attracting a lot of turbulence. It's attracting a lot of few fights and arguments with somebody who you think is controlling you, and now they probably not being determined as you not being determined to move forward and push forward. Virgo, it's time for you to look out and make plans within yourself and take the actions that you need to overcome with your internal fears. You got the ideas how to get out of it. Now it's time for you to follow your intuition and take that genuine leap of faith, okay? Do the research on it. Now I feel like if you feel like you're being controlled, you may be being controlled by spirit because spirit wants you to take the time out to investigate on the things that you need to do instead of being bitter uh, and, and cutting people off just because of, just because they may be bitter with you. Virgo, there's nothing wrong with it, but people actually care. Now now, with this turbulence that you may be going to, it's time for you to express yourself while you're looking out and making plans. And this is going to help you overcome over your fears. Now, whatever you may be overindulging in, like overindulging in research, overindulging, uh, when I say research, overindulging, trying to find something wrong with, with somebody. Virgo, you need to take the time out and go back into grounding and finally take that stand that you need to cut the people off that's not there for you, that's giving you too many heavy burdens, or cut off all the negative mindset and all the negative traits that you have within yourself because it's carrying too many burdens and what it's doing is keeping you at, e uh, at, at not at ease, a very uneasy dealing with your emotions and hard to tackle over. Virgo, it's very important that you balance over this right now and identify the problems within yourself to overcome, to receive this reward, to receive that marriage, to receive that independence, to receive what you need, Virgo. It's not always on them. This is the first time I can say, Virgo, express yourself about the sadness that you going through because they may have been trying to express it to you. They may have been sitting up there thinking the same way how you thinking that this is not going to work out and everybody going through past traumatic issues but y'all hanging on to one of each other because you're making a sacrifice but one of y'all got to, well Virgo, you got to find a resolution dealing with this juggling, mental juggling energy that you've been hanging on for so long to and finally let it go so this soulmate can be with you the way that you need it to be. Okay, Ashe? Ashe? Ah, man, let's See. Spirit guys in the what is we got for Virgo? I feel like, yeah, Virgo, you like reconciliation is coming in. So if you separated, this may be one of the reasons. Or if you feeling like you separated, make amends with yourself and, and tackle over that opportunity and make that second chance happen. A return is returning again because it, it, it's all about timing. That's what it is. Right now, you gotta you've gotta avoid and you gotta avoid or release. This time of the hurt 
within your mind, okay, Virgo? You got to understand family will come to you. Don't be feeling like you manipulated with people or family dynamic. You got to understand, Virgo, take off that mask within yourself. You too busy taking mask off other people. Take that mask off within yourself. Stop pretending to be okay when you know you're not okay because the memories that you're not thinking of deep down that you tried to are harnessing, Virgo, is not helping you heal right now. You got to purify yourself and you may be codependent and that's why you are turning around and uh, going through the challenges of researching on yourself, but you may be overindulging into trying to find something toxic or something hurtful within yourself instead of just living the moments. You may be seeing somebody that may be having secrets and uh, mysteries, but the thing about it is you not loving yourself enough and you self-sabotaging yourself by putting in negative mindsets when it comes to this intimacy that you wanting all because you are daydreaming this Virgo and not letting your intuition show you that you are not hopeless. You're not sinking. You're not falling apart. You're not running. You're not being invisible. You're just not finding peace within yourself dealing with this divine feminine energy that you carry or this, uh, this nice emotional energy that you be having deep within Virgo, okay? So with that basically being said, I'll tell you I was going to be with you long, but it was going to be very powerful. Now, Virgo, what we got for us today? I deserve a fantastic income, baby. I deserve a fantastic income. I say, I say, I man, help you with money and prosperity. Now, I am a being of divine light, full of unlimited potential. I'm a being of the divine light, filled with unlimited potential. I say, I say, I man. And we also got, I am worthy of a wonderful life. I am worthy of a wonderful life. I say, I say, amen. And the last one is, I follow my passions, which leads to prosperity. I follow my passions, which leads to prosperity. I say, I say, amen. Let me pull three right quick. One, two, three. Now, Virgo, I'm going to do this real quick, right quick. No, no, I didn't do it, but somebody asked a question about it. So I'm going to give a quick, brief spread while we got time at the end, okay? Now, Virgo, if this is you dealing with your finances, I'm going to be real quick. Right now, you hold the energy to your finances. Right now, you are, don't overindulge in anything. Like, money is coming in, but you need to hold tight to it, okay? Like, I feel like the efforts when it comes to you making more money, you're not putting the, enough effort that you need. And right now, you're... Uh, when it comes to you pouring into something you compassionate about dealing with the job, you got to get yourself together, okay, Virgo? In order to make more money, you got to acknowledge the, uh, what's going on and to the, to the avenue of your finances in order to move forward. Now, there are new starting points for you, Virgo, and you got to let go of the burdens dealing with a job. It may be a certain type of job trying to keep you stagnated because they see your potential, but they don't want you to grow. You got to accept things for the way that they are, Virgo, when it comes to your finances and business and get the understanding and and do a little bit more research on what you need instead of feeling bitter uh, about what's going on into your life. Don't feel like you're emotionally vulnerable about being stagnated in a spot. Keep yourself in control because they look at that and stop saying yes to everybody because where you at right now probably is making you suffer. So find another solution to expand, okay? Because they're controlling you with your money and they're controlling you with everything else, okay? To something you're compassionate about. So for majority of you, real quick, if you feel stagnated, start looking at finding new jobs. This is the season of harvest. You are what you attract. One job is not going to give you what you want. You got to take your mind out, expand, and put in action, okay? So, peace, love, and light, like, love, and peace. If you want a personal reading, we'll be in the description box below. I just want to say, get at me, text me, we can make it happen. Now, peace, love, and light, like, love, and peace. I love you, God love you, universe love you. Make sure you love who? Yourself. That's the most important thing on the channel. So let it be, so mote it be. Ashe, ashe, amen, salah. Till the next time. Yep. Yeah.